What's going on, guys? There's my wife stealing oregano from a client of ours. I'm not stealing it. I'm pruning it. I'm pruning. Do you have um, clippers? No, I don't. I mean, I do in the truck. Anyways, oregano banging, time banging. Rest of the garden got hit with a freeze, a couple of freezes. It's actually colder out here than it is in other parts of North Louisiana where we garden. But a lot of our perennials and a lot of our herbs are still kicking butts. We've got these super tall trellises that look a little awkward now that they're not covered in beans and tomatoes. But what I wanted to show you guys today was the one bed that we decided to turn into a fall garden. So um, these clients of ours wanted to do something a little smaller scale, knowing they're gonna be in and out of town all winter long um, visiting family and such. So we just transitioned one of their beds and it's this one right here. And we've got a perimeter of butter crunch lettuce with two center rows of broccoli. I just interplanted all that broccoli with elephant garlic and um, that will help to deter pests as well as the other herbs that we've interplanted like the chives and the parsley and the dill, which has long since gone to seed, which is awesome. But uh, one thing I wanted to show you as far as how awesome is that? All those dill seeds. Cool, man. Put that in the walkway. One thing I wanted to show you today as far as a maintenance video for fall plants is we want to get everything out of what we would call the T-zone. So it's really self-explanatory, but I will also show you T-zone. Boom, right here. Anything T or below, especially in this X zone, you don't want it. What I mean by that is you want to come to these plants, all of these horizontal or lower limbs you want to remove. Those will, like this one has, touch soil, start to decompose, and be a vector for disease, for bacteria, for fungus, even for snails to climb up those and onto your healthy plants. So you wanna take those, throw them in your walkway, put them in your compost pile, and uh, rinse, repeat. Do that same process with all of your plants. The great thing about this is these won't always be touching soil. They won't always be decomposing. What you can do with these, if you're maintaining it and keeping up with it, is you take these lower limbs, especially as the plant gets a little bit bigger, and you treat these suckers like collard greens. They're delicious. I had one client that served a giant pot of collard greens to his family for Thanksgiving and didn't realize they were all broccoli greens because they were so big and they were so healthy. So that is the quick update video for today. Keep everything out of the T-zone, keep it off the soil level, compost it, throw it in the walkway, eat it, do whatever you wanna do. Just tend your plants and use every part of them. It will continue to feed you, not just through the florets of the broccoli, but also through the leaves. Okay, have a good one. We'll close on. <laughs> we'll close on my wife stealing parsley. I'm not stealing it. I'm t zoning it. That's what the video was about. Look at that. It's touching the soil. Snails are gonna climb. I know. Snails I know. are gonna climb up that parsley. Especially if you don't make chimichurri with it <laughs> immediately. Legacy gardens, stealing your herbs Stop. when you're not around. I'm stealing them. <laughs> I can throw them in the walkway if you prefer. No. Okay. Here. No. Now they're compost. <laughs> Have a good day, folks.